Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to create interactive activities making use of H5P, ChatGPT and Moodle. We'll create this stunning find the words game where learners need to search for the words, click on the first word and then the last word and the word will be marked as complete. All they need to do is search for the word. It's a time-based activity. They can check their answers and they can even show the correct answers. We'll also be developing a crossword puzzle making use of ChatGPT as well as H5P and where we provide students with clues and they need to provide them the correct answers. They can show the solutions they can check their answers and this will also enhance their understanding on the topic. I'll also show you how to create a drag and drop activity making use of ChatGPT as well as H5P. Here users can check their answers, show their solutions as well as do retries. Let me show you how this is done. Let's go to Moodle.org. and then click on plugins in our search box type in h5p and then click on search so let's install the interactive content by h5p let's click on it make sure that we are on the correct version and download it let's go to our model site click on site administration Click on plugins and then install plugins. Let's upload this plugin and click on install plugin. Let's go through the installation process. Make sure our server environment meets all the requirements and click on continue. And then click on upgrade Moodle database now. And then click on continue. We leave everything on its default and click on save changes. And that's it. So let's go to our course. I'll close this. I'll refresh my course. And then I'll turn editing on. And now, since I already have a glossary here, so yes, my glossary. Now I want to include a game where I want to learners after they've seen the glossary, they need to play a game based on the glossary items. Okay, so I'll close this and close this. I'll go to Chat GPT. So my topic is digital literacy. I'll ask Chat GPT create create a glossary for digital literacy. Okay, let's just remove this. So now ChatGPT will create a glossary for us. Okay, so there's about 25 words. Now we'll use these words in our game. Okay, so let's go back to our course. I'll add an activity or resource, and this time I'll add an interactive content. Now I need to choose the activity I want to create. Okay, since I'll be creating a game, I'll scroll down to where I see I want them to find the words first, okay? So next to it, I'll click on Get to install this activity and then in, click on Install. The activity was installed and now I click on Use. I'll give it a name. So I'll call this Digital Literacy. Um, let's call this Let's just call this game, okay? 
It says here find the words uh, from the grid and now I need to add the word list. Now from ChatGPT I can copy these words, go to my game and I'll just paste it in there. The second word is computer literacy. I'll copy that and I'll paste it in here. Yeah. Then my third word I can even leave out the word literacy since it's been repeated over and over. So I'll leave out the word. I'll just include digital. I'll use that and then that internet. Okay, so let's just create a space there and then a space there. Okay, comma space. So now it's information. Control C paste it there, comma space, media, copy that, I'll paste it there, comma, space, cybersecurity, copy it, I'll paste it, comma, and then privacy, I'll copy it, and I'll paste it in there and then digital already let's use another term user interface coding let's use coding control C and then control V okay so let's leave it as is we have a few words there Let's click on grade. It says here grade category uncategorized and maximum grade is 10. Common module settings. Let's leave this as is. Restrict access, nothing. And then activity completion. Let's choose show activity as complete when the students must view the activity and also receive a grade. Okay. And everything else we leave as is. We can even change these. Uh, orientations ABC is currently going to look at like A B C D E F G the alphabet letters but we can change it okay we can also use text overrides for find the words we can change these where it says check where it says retry where it says show solution uh, etc we can change all of these let's click save and display and there's our find the words grid okay so here's our words that we've provided and now the students need to find these words uh, in the maze here okay so it's digital computer so once they see the word I see the word internet they click on the first word and they click on the last word and this word will then be highlighted here okay you can find other words let's see if we can find this coding click on it and there's coding okay so we can even click on check it will mark our answers and then show solutions it will show us where the other words are okay and this is how easy it is to create an activity like this by making use of ChatGPT, copying the words over to h5p activity and h5p will then populate a game for us all right, so for our next activity, let's do a crossword puzzle. So let's go to our course. So after they've done the digital literacy game, I want them to do a crossword puzzle. So let's go to add an activity or resource. We'll click on interactive content. Let's scroll down and find crossword puzzle. There you'll see crossword. I'll click on that. And now I can provide a title. Let's complete the crossword puzzle. Okay. And yeah, I can tell them what to do. Okay. So use the clues and solve the crossword puzzle. Okay, so now I need to provide them with clues and then with answers. So 
So I'll go to ChatGPT and I'll ask him, okay, so create a crossword puzzle with clues and answers answers on digital literacy please provide 10 words there we go okay so there we have across and then we have down and you'll see he's already created jgpt has already created the crossword puzzle but we will use these words okay so i'll use this as my answer so i'll copy this i'll paste it in my answer and then i'll use the clue as my clue i'll paste it in here so that will become my clue and this is my answer if I want to add extra clues like text or images, I can add those, but I'll leave it as is for now. And I can even select fix word on grid to fix this word on the grid. Okay, so this will be my first clue. My second one will be. Now I can add my second one. So my second one is cybersecurity. I'll copy that. And I'll paste it. Remember, this is my answer. And this becomes my clue. I'll paste it in my clue. I'll add another word. Third word is media literacy. I'll copy that. I'll paste it. Copy. And I'll paste it. And I'll do the rest and I'll post the video here and I'll do the rest and uh, you can follow along. Okay, so here we have our 10 words, our 10 clues. And now let's scroll down. Remember, we can add uh, text and images as extra clues. Click on overall feedback. We can provide overall feedback for percentages. So we can set percentages if the student obtained a score between, let's say, 0 and 10%. We can have feedback 0 and uh, 10 and 20% and so forth. Then under theme, we can add a background theme here. So let's say we have, we go to free images. So let's choose here. Okay, unsplash, free stock images to download. Let's free pick, free images. Let's use Pixabay, okay? So I'll choose here digital literacy. Press enter, and now I can use any of these images, okay? So let's use a clean image and download it. Okay, so what about this one here? I like this one. So I'll click on it, I'll download it. So it will download to my computer. I'll go to my background. I'll click on add a background. I'll choose it here from my downloads folder, open. So there it's added. I can change the colors of my background. Now I can click on behavior, the number of words to be shown. I can select here, I can enable instant feedback. If I've provided feedback here, I can enable instant feedback. I can also score words, apply penalties, enable retries, as well as enable solutions. By clicking on text override and translations, I can change the words um, across, down, check, if I want to change it to another language and so forth. By grades, I can add the maximum grade as well as a passing grade. Clicking on common module settings, I'll leave as is. Restrict access, I'll leave as is. As well as activity completion, I'll choose show activity as completed. When conditions are met, student must view the activity and students must receive a grade to complete the activity. I'll click on save and display. And there's my crossword puzzle. You'll see the background doesn't look that nice, so let's change that. Here's my clues and there's my answers, uh, so let's change the background image and remove it. 
Let's click on settings and then go down, scroll down to where we see our theme and then just the X in the top right hand corner, we click on that, we confirm to remove it and then we save it again. Now it looks more beautiful and more presentable. So remember when you add a background image, you need to change the colors as well. Okay, so you need to change those colors. Going into the settings and the theme. Once you've added a background image, you need to change all the grid colors. So remember that. Okay, let's save it again. And that's how easy it is to create a crossword puzzle. There's our clues. And now the learners need to provide us with the answers uh, by following the clues. We can click on show solution and H5P activity will show us all the solution and add the solutions to the answer boxes. From ChatGPT, where ChatGPT generated our answers and our clues and we've populated it in the H5P activity and H5P provided us with a crossword puzzle. As easy as that. We've developed the, both these activities, the digital literacy game, as well as the complete the crossword based on the glossary. Okay, so let's do our final activity. Let's click on add an activity or resource and then we'll click on interactive content again. For this activity, we'll use the drag and drop activity in H5P. So there you'll see drag the words. I'll click on get. I'll click on install. We'll install the activity in Moodle. I will use that activity now. Now for this activity, it's a bit different than the other activities because we need to use the asterisks. Okay, so let's go to ChatGPT. ChatGPT will provide us with the drag and drop elements of the activity. So I'll ask ChatGPT, please provide me with five drag and drop words to complete the sentences on digital literacy. So ChatGPT will go ahead and provide us with the five words and there's my five words and there's my sentences to complete. So all I need to do now is copy and paste it in here so but i'll need to use the asterisks the two asterisks in front of the correct words and at the back of the correct word okay i'll go to chat gpt i'll first copy my instructions copy that and i'll paste it so there it says my task description is drag the words into the correct boxes and this will be my instructions now let's start copying the five sentences. So I'll copy the five sentences. I'll paste it in my H5P activity. Let's increase the size here. And now let's number it first. This will be number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, Okay, so remember this doesn't need to be in front of each sentence. It can be in the center of the sentence as well, or at the back, okay? So now we need to remove the line and replace it with two asterisks. So let's use Shift and 8 on your keyboard, and that will input the asterisk. Okay, let's do this for two. So remember, they should be at the beginning so the correct answer will be between the two asterisks. And then the final one. Okay, so now we need to copy the correct words. So let's go to ChatGPT and then copy the answers and then paste it between the asterisks. Second one, information. We'll copy that and we'll paste it in its correct place. And then the third one, which is critical thinking, we'll copy that and we'll paste it in its correct place. And then the fourth one will be social media. 
we'll copy that and we'll paste it in its correct place and then the final one which is privacy we'll copy that and we'll paste it in its correct place that's it okay so now we have all our words we have our correct words as well as our to complete the sentences okay so now let's move down we can add the feedback per range remember then we can change the behavioral settings by enabling retry enabling show solutions button or instant feedback but the instant feedback remember is based on the feedback the text overrides and translations we can change by making it a different language then for grade we can use a grade category for common module settings we we'll leave that as is restrict access we we'll leave as is and then our activity completion we will choose show activity as complete when students view the activity as well as students must receive a grade to complete the activity save and display oops we forgot to give it a title let's provide it with a title here let's copy this one here we'll copy that and we'll paste it in our title and now we can save and display and now H5P provided us with this activity yes our words are five words we need to drag it to the correct places to complete the sentences so each one needs to be dragged to the correct spot we hit check and now the activity will mark it automatically we can click on show solutions and it will show us the correct solutions and this is how easy it is to create our drag and drop activity by making use of ChatGPT as well as h5p